What is going on, Flight Crew? It's your boy, Fly Stewie. Today, we're gonna see if how to beat a double anemone team. As you know, double anemone teams, look at them, 57 speed here. Disgusting, can heal up really crazily. They have their brother team right here with the double heal. Very scary team to go against. And they'll either have a backdoor bird or they'll have some sort of hair bird or they'll have a soothing song bird in the back. Just a really easy team to play and a difficult team to beat. Now, we have our Scholar's team on the right here. So our Scholar has a backline, a backline plant. A little bit of a different touch, right? With the Iguana, so he can generate one energy when attacking above the target. Um, we also have a Midliner. Little different Termi. Instead of having, uh, you know, a more of a, how you say, stunner on the Midline. Replace that for extra attack damage with Juggling Balls. And you have a Frontline Plant. Give him poison, and then we damn punish him with the juggling balls and allergic. That's kind of how this build works. Let's see what the scholar does here. Now, of course, when you start out this perfectly with the double vegetable, you gotta go for it. These are guys that can't steal energy back because they don't have vegetable one. And two, they want to build up energy with tail slap, and they're also gonna pass a lot of turns because they don't have a lot of beast damage to fight you. Again, look at this guy zero beast damage in all these cards and all these types are weak against plants so this is an easy team to play but you don't really have outplays when you're playing against a type that works against you so first round we get it hey ruben what's going on ruben says nice content sir uh ruben definitely appreciate that um so first round again in a super dominating position Whenever you have double vegetable against a team like this, you 100% go for it. You know they're not playing next round. And all of a sudden, you have this insane energy advantage against them. Now, the important thing about playing this team is you want to take them out as soon as you have a chance, right? And that's why this card here, it's a slowdown card that makes it so you can attack before they do. Now, for a lot of people that just started, one of the first things you'll notice, and as he does this attack, boom, look at this, big damage here, 100 damage, 100 damage, and then you have your furry balls. And look at that, that still does almost 120 damage itself, and then we finish him off here. So the big threat here. So you'll notice up here, it has the order of what they attack in. So right now, right now, you can see it. The bird attacks first and the aqua attacks first and all these guys are last. So if you don't kill them or eliminate them in your first couple moves, they're good. This guy's going to be able to heal up, which makes it very hard for you to win. So whenever you're going against this team, make sure you save your cards, make your passes, and then you'll be able to beat them. So this guy, he's going to take out their fastest guy, which again, is probably not even his best moves. He's, this guy should probably save enough moves cards to take out his plants. But let's see what he does. You gotta take your wins where you can sometimes. And this was really the only one he could get. But now he's in a complete disadvantage because now he has to go against two plants against two types that can't go against plants. So this is just a terrible move. Oh my God, why? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I, I guess he thought that he was going to attack the guy in the back. But realistically, this guy is just as much of a threat, if not more of a threat, than this guy back here. So, like, I don't... I don't know, man. Obviously, this one's the biggest threat, but, like, you gotta chill out there. You can't panic that much. That was uh, the, the definition of a panic. Wow. And then unfortunately, there's nothing you can do here. These plants are gonna wipe the floor with you. And that's why our scholar over here just had the, the better team here. So I like the team. I think we're gonna replace his plant here and have one that has like a numbing here or something like that. And then this guy just gave up because honestly two plants against a bird, there's nothing you can do. So what have we learned against playing a double animal team? It's a really unbalanced team, okay? They have a team that literally they're both weak to plants, they're both weak to reptiles, they're both weak to dust. Um, in this meta, 
I don't think it's a, the best team, but it is the new double aqua team for this season. So if you're playing against it, make sure you have a plant in your team. If you don't, make sure you save up your cards because you got to take out the double anemones in one shot. They're also not going to go in the first one, two or third turn a lot of times or a lot of times they save it up to the third or fourth turn. So with that being the case, make sure you can steal their energies as soon as you get serious. But if you like these gameplay tutorials and you want more of on the how to beat series, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll keep serving that up to you. It's been your boy Fly Stewie and we Fly Crew will see you next time. Peace.